welcome to tech your dev and in this video i will be breaking down how to make a simple positioning system for a risk game so getting right to it i'll be explaining the logic and then i will show you guys the code implementation for my videos i'll be making use of um, the unity game engine but after going through the logic it should be useful for any other game engine So the goal is to be able to tell where the current player is related to every other player on the track. And just like everyone watching, I was very confused on how to get this done without having to buy any assets or use some of a complicated method. To first to achieve our goal, we we'll have to apply waypoints. Um, we need to have waypoints placed around the track so to illustrate the logic um, let's have a track here um, so this is going to be like a track and to represent some players we are going to have some players here so yes this is player one this will be player two and then this will be like player three so for the purpose of this we are going to be making use of three players so we have um, first thing we need to do is to place some points on the track like so and mind you the curvier your track is the more waypoints you need to place in your scene and so make the calculation of um, the player's position more accurate because if you have a straight track all you need to do is just place a waypoint in front and a waypoint at the end and that's like you have your waypoint system but if you have a more windy track you would need more waypoints at the corners just to help the um, calculation be more precise after having your waypoints in the scene you need to get the player distances to a particular waypoint so let's say your first waypoint is over here so you'd have to get your player distances to that particular waypoint and what we are now going to do is that those um, distances we got from the waypoint we are all we are going to pipe all of them to an array so the array is going to contain all player distances so um imagine the player distance for player one to this player waypoint over here is um 11 and the distance for player two let me indicate them by using their own colors so um, in the array, uh, let's call it, put this the array. Um, so the player one's value is eleven. Player two's value is five, and player three's value is twelve. So when we pipe the values into the array, it's going to you know present itself in this form. So it's in a disordered state. So we first thing we we'll have to do is to organize this array. So what we are going to do is to sort the array. So after you sort the array, what the array is going to look like is going to be rearranging the values in um, in an order of um, ascending order or descending order. So depending on you know the your pref preference, the array will look something like this. So the smallest uh, number will be on top five, followed by eleven, then twelve. So this is what the array is going to look like once it's been sorted. So after the array has been sorted, we are now 
going to be left with okay how do we identify um, the value of the player right now so what we're going to do is uh, we we would know or would create a variable that would house or that would uh, take in the value of the particular player we want so um, if we are making use of the red player we can just name the variable let's say player and player would now house um, whatever the current value of this player is so if the current value of this player is um, 11 what we're going to do is that we are going to we are going to compare this value with um, the index of this of um, the value in the sorted array so by the time we do that um it's going to look something like this so here comparing this value with the index of the values in this array we're going it's going to return a value of one so when we actually do that what it does is that the index of the first um value here is zero followed by one two you know to infinity so right now the index of um, this value of the player in this array is one so with a simple switch or if statement we can see if the index of the array is one then player's position is second if 11 was the first index that's if it's an index of zero then the player's position is first and it's you know it's this calculation is going to be happening in real time so these values will be changing and the array is going to be sorted out automatically and here this value also will be changing and it's going to actively try to um, compare itself with the index of whatever is in this array and it's going to now give us um, it's going to now give us whatever position the player is compared to every other player and uh, we need to also um, realize that the players are going to be moving so each um, as the game moves forward the focus of the waypoint is going to change so once a player goes through a waypoint so the focus will change from this waypoint to the next waypoint and once um, he goes through this waypoint it's going to change focus to the next waypoint so um, making the calculation even more accurate so after this i'm going to be showing how to implement it with code um, see you there so now i'll be showing you guys how to implement the logic we code first create a player manager script inside inside it there will be a bunch of variables a float array to hold all the players distances to the waypoint a game object array to hold the player a float to store the player's current distance to the waypoint an array to study AI players, an integer to track the current position value, an integer to track the active waypoint, a text object to display the position. Create a function to do the logic we discussed earlier, then assign the player and the AI to the array that holds the all the players distances. Then assign the player distances to the variable to hold the player's current distances. Then sort the array. Check for the index of the player's distances value. Use a switch statement to check for the position of the players. In your player script, create a function to call the distance from the player to the current active waypoint. Repeat the same for the AI. 
create a script to change the focus of the waypoint when a player has gone past it. Make sure to check if it has been used by a player already so as not to have confusing results. You can see, is it right? Here's a project of mine in which I made use of the position system works fine with it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to reply all of it. On the next video, I'll be showing how it can be done with multiplayer. Please like and subscribe to support and if the video helped you.